Over the years, um, I'm going to plead. All right, we are still in conversation with Clementine Wasimani, and uh, please don't get it twisted. Those visuals that we just showed you now are not of her latest film, Bopi Nongena. That is just some of the work that she's been involved in over the years. So City Yizo Yizo, she really became a media darling that stole our hearts with her amazing work on screen, and she still continues to do so today. Clementine, I just want to take you to um, th that clip that we just showed our viewers. Uh, what was what story was that? What drama was that? And what, what role were you playing on there? I think that story was called Takantsuke. Yes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> my role there, I, I think it was also another Popinongena. Mm. She's a woman left by a husband to go and live with another w woman. Yeah. And she has to raise her kids by herself. Mm. Now, the kids, in every household where there's a separation, where there's a divorce, kids always get affected mm. and they start stealing from school. Mm. And she gets a report that you're Kids are a problem in yeah, school. Yeah. And now she has to fill the gap, to fill the vacuum of lack. Yes. It's yes. another Popinongena story. Oh, my goodness. I I'm going to come back to um, just, you know, the form that you you've done now, Popinongena, and how people can uh, get their, 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 their eyes on it yeah. when it does release at the end of this month. But I want to talk about just your journey as an actress in, in this entertainment industry. I know that for any woman in, in an industry that is, of course, dominated by men, it's not easy to, to navigate. And, of course, add all the other external pressures, fame, uh, people expecting you to be this wealthy, rich woman. <laughs> There's really just so much pressure when you are a household name like yourself. Take us through the journey. What's it been like for you over the years? And how have you managed to just keep true to who you are and not feed the beast? Okay. It hasn't been easy. You have to juggle here and there. You have to go for auditions. You wait for the call to say you got the role or you didn't. And then if you didn't get the role, you say, God, open another door. And God, mm. being faithful as he is, is by the grace that mm. I am where I am. Mm. And God has carried me through my journey from the beginning of time. Mm. God has always carried me. Mm. And another thing that keeps me where I am is respecting myself respecting my work, respecting my fellow actors, respecting the industry as it is. Mm -hmm. As difficult as it is, you still have to maintain your dignity. You still have to remain humble irrespective of all the challenges that we go through. Hmm. I want to talk about this whole auditions thing. You know, people still get shocked that, oh my goodness, why would Clementine uh, still audition? Yeah. Or why would so-and-so still be called into audition? That's, that's, that, that's disrespect. Or, um, you know, that's undermining particular actors and actresses. Uh, you, how do you weigh in on that? Yeah, I feel the same. But also, what I discover is that some of the directors or some of the producers that come on board, they do not know our work. They mm. do not know us. Because if you really know somebody, you just decide that I, this is the person that I want. Yes. But unfortunately, and you also find that some of the directors have got not, not much say because we are told there's a channel this side that wants to decide. Mm. And at times you ask yourself, are the people in channel really knowing who we are, where yeah. we come from? Have yeah. they traveled the journey with us? Mm. Or is it a power trip? Mm, you know, I, I get that. Yeah, I really, really do get so that. So we do ask ourselves <laughs> questions of what's going on here. But yeah. I'd say what I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Didn't I work with this director some time back? Why is he auditioning me? You know. <laughs> All right. We're going to take um, some tweets uh, from our viewers. Let's take a look at what uh, you've been saying.
All right, uh, Trevor says, Morning, guys. Clementown, wow, my favorite actress from a young age. What a passion she has for acting. I know her from Batwagabe. Uh, Thank you, Trevor. <laughs> Nazim Khwudbum says, How hard is it to play a lead role and prepare for such a movie such as this one for B. Nongena? I'll give Clementine an opportunity to answer that as soon as we get to our next one. Uh, this one says, I know Mama Clementine took part in many soapies or TV dramas. Uh, one, when and which drama did she start acting on? And uh, well, long live Mama Clementine, Musimane, long live. Well, I join in there, long live. So do you remember the first feature film or first drama series that you, you acted on? It was Lucille Rula. Listen. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. I just, I just had childhood memories of watching that and thinking, oh my goodness, I am so afraid of Lucy Lo. <laughs> All right, you've been in the industry for, for 30 years and you've spoken about God having, you know, kept you going and staying humble and respecting what you do. What do you think of the current state of actors and actresses um, that we, we see emerging in, in the industry? It is good to have young up-and-coming actors and actresses but unfortunately I don't think that uh, the industry sometimes it's as fair mm. because you find that there's a new up-and-coming actor or actress and they say this is the role for them mm -hmm. and they have the budget for them but when it comes to me yes. there's never no budget you don't you don't have enough Instagram followers you're not popular enough. I'm not popular enough. And what has popularity in, on Instagram has to do with my work. Mm. No, my craft. I'm a thespian. A thespian. Yeah, I'm a thespian. I guess social aid. I guess thespian. I take courage in my work. Thank you I don't so much go for saying on that. tabloid. I don't go on news being naked or mm. doing stuff that is not edifying in the soul. Mm. So mm. I'm a thespian and mm. respect that. Mm. We can't all be on Instagram. We can't all be on Facebook. Yeah. We are actors and the actors are meant to be actors to research certain characters, mm. to research people's work. So I, I can't go on Instagram. It doesn't edify me. Absolutely. It doesn't. Absolutely. I agree with you there. Lastly, there's just been an ongoing conversation. Um, uh, people in the arts in this country coming forward and saying the government actually just needs to start doing more for, for, for actors. Um, royalties that go unpaid. Um, we see seasons and seasons upon seasons of repeats and actors remain unpaid. We see content uh, being sold to overseas broadcasters. Actors go unpaid. Uh, what, what is your uh, you know, call or, or what, what do you want to add to that as a South African actress who's been doing this for so long and, and, and is yet to, to reap the rewards or the greater rewards of, of her contributions, if ever? You know what my question is all the time is, does the Minister of Arts and Culture really know who we are and where do we come from? Mm -hmm. Does he have the insight in the work that we do? Mm -hmm. We are not just entertainers. We put food on the table in our homes. It is a career. It is not a hobby. Mm -hmm. Acting is a career and it is a calling. So do they really care and understand who we are? Or, because what is ironic is that they also sit and watch us and when they see us it's like hey it's you and you mm -hmm. but do you know how much do I have in my bank mm -hmm. do you know how much goes into my pocket do much do you know how much expenses do I have I have kids to send to school I have families to look after I'm a breadwinner at home but does government really care Mm. And you look at musicians and they get royalties they get for royalties. the number of times their songs are on rotation on radio stations and the likes. And having said that, I so wish that our actors must not think through the stomach. Mm. Because that's where the danger is. People think through their stomachs and then we do not want to have a good, strong actors union in South Africa. If only we can get that, we will have a breakthrough. Mm. That reminds me of the Generations uh, saga that we saw unfolding. Clementine, mm -hmm. thank you. It's been such a pleasure having you. I wish I could stay here at the art. You can maybe just hang around in the studio I think <laughs> so, so we can too. just do it with you. today. <laughs> <laughs> that concludes our conversation with Legend and Award winning actress Clementine Musimani. You can catch her cinemas nationwide from the 31st of January in a brand new film she features in called Bobby Nongena. It is a riveting story. Make sure you don't miss it. Go out there and support local films. We take a quick break. Stay with us.